what is test data the test data is refers to the input values that we give to the test cases in order to execute the given test case basically we try to give various inputs to check the various condition that is used in your test case during execution of your test cases that is when we'll be using the test data test data can include both valid as well as invalid data that uh, represents the overall uh, scenarios plus conditions that we wanted to execute the test cases if you take an example uh, what is a, a test data for a registration form normally in the registration form what are the test data we are going to use normally we use username password email id these are the certain uh, things we normally use the test data for uh, registration page and we will be giving all uh, valid as well as invalid test data to test this registration form that is an example for a test data next question is what is all about a test plan the test plan is nothing but it is a document it is a detailed document where we outline the approach of our uh, overall testing processes plus the objectives of our testing what is in scope plus what is not in our scope of testing and what is the overall schedule of, of the testing activities that we are going to define everything including your test environments what are the test deliverables we are going to make as part of that testing processes and what are the various resources are required both hardware as well as human resources our risk and mitigation plans everything we will be defining as part of your test plan including entry and exit criteria also will be defining in your test plan so that if anybody goes through that test plan they will easily understand as part of this test planning or test process what are the various testing activity with the testing team will they do everything they'll get to know as part of this uh, test plan the next question is what is the difference between the smoke testing and the sanitary testing the smoke testing is more of a testing which we do very quickly if you have hundreds of test cases maybe we'll be picking uh, five to ten critical test cases just to see whether the application is really smokes or not whether really alive or not that is what we wanted to check as part of this uh, smoke testing but in terms of sanity testing we are more focusing on the specific areas that were fixed and uh, we are going to validate only specific things uh, as part of that uh, sanity testing if you take an example uh, after a major system upgrade after major system upgrade means uh, there is a huge code base has changed now we will see what is the difference between smoke testing plus sanity testing for this kind of scenario for this kind of scenario smoke testing we normally we do all the core features or critical features are really working post uh, system upgrade but in sanity testing we will be specifically checking a particular area where major uh, impact has happened major upgrades has happened that is the only area we are going to more focusing on the sanity testing that is the key difference between smoke testing plus a sanity testing what is the difference between a manual testing versus automation testing the manual testing uh, is nothing but the test cases which we created that we are going to execute it in a manual fashion or a human intervention fashion uh, where our humans are going to execute our test cases and they will observe as well the outcome of the application also they will observe and they will document as well as part of the manual testing if something uh, goes behind the, our test cases abnormal behavior if they see then they will log a defect otherwise they will make the test cases Past. but in automation testing where we are going to utilize some certain specialized tools where we have written the automated scripts so that automated scripts will take care of executing our scripts in various uh, different forms and different operating system different browsers across uh, different uh, combinations of uh, our testing metrics uh, by using these specialized uh, automation tools but another important difference between manual testing as well as automation testing is in manual testing as we said earlier because human intervention is there that means lot of uh, human efforts will go here plus lot of repetitive lot of uh, redundant task also human being has to perform in every test case execution that becomes very challenging and uh, with the resource crunch situations 
it is very difficult to execute all kind of test uh, during our uh, uh, testing time that is when uh, it is always recommended to go for automation testing for any application because we can avoid redundant end we can uh, efficiently perform our testing and we can uh, do a better job compared to manual testing uh, if it is a huge uh, set of test cases if we have take example of web application where we wanted to verify a particular uh, functionality in the web application then we will be manually go and click on each and every link and we will see uh, that page is really having all the information or not everything we are going to validate and uh, based on that we are going to certify that test case is passing or failing but uh, in automation test cases uh, not human intervention it is more of a scripts are going to execute uh, those test cases execute it and it will uh, record the observations as well and uh, based on the observation uh, it will pass the or fail the test cases is completely by the automated way that is an example of uh, manual versus automation testing if you move on to the next question what is all about a negative testing negative testing is nothing but another testing uh, technique where uh, we are going to provide uh, not normal or valid inputs for this kind of uh, testing negative testing negative testing here we are trying to give invalid data or unexpected or boundary or outside uh, the test data ranges that is when we are going to use those data to see whether the application gives us the right uh, messages or right error messages uh, for these uh, for those uh, different situations and we wanted to validate whether appropriate error we get it or appropriate messages or appropriate user friendly messages do we get uh, as part of this negative testing and if you take an example of uh, negative testing where uh, we are trying to enter a non numerical value for a numerical input when we are going to enter non numerical normally it is supposed to take numeric value if i entering non numeric value then it should throw error message saying that the data which you entered which is incorrect that kind of error messages user friendly error messages should application should uh, give us as part of this uh, negative testing what is test scripts a test scripts are nothing but it is a sequence of instruction or step by step of instruction where we wanted to follow those steps of uh, instruction to execute the test cases that is the beauty of the test scripts basically here complete detailed instructions will be provided to the tester if we read the test scripts you can easily understand against which platform what kind of inputs we should use what kind of output uh, we are going to get everything will be written as part of this test script if you take an example uh, test script for login functionality here what we what is the steps or uh, steps will be there as part of this uh, test script is we have to open the login page by giving the application url or web application url and where we have to enter the user credential then you have to click on the login button then it will go on to the successful login when we enter all the relevant information that is all about uh, test scripts what is a test coverage what is a test coverage the test coverage uh, again it is a one kind of measure we normally perform as part of our uh, overall testing processes to assess what kind of requirements or what percentage of requirements are really covered as part of uh, our testing uh, processes in order to understand what kind of coverage uh, our test cases really do cover that is when we are going to use test coverage metrics the test coverage uh, that ensure all the critical aspects of software are really covered as part of this uh, metrics if we take an example so we'll be using a code coverage measure to validate the code statements or lines which are executing during testing that is also as part of the code coverage if you move on to the next question is what is mutation testing mutation testing is also another form of uh, testing technique where we are going to check for small changes called mutations as part of our testing if any small changes are made to the code that is when uh, we are going to use this mutation testing mechanism to validate how effectiveness uh, the changes have happened and uh, based on that test cases we can easily detect even small changes have happened you can easily detect uh, whether it is producing the right results or not as part of this uh, mutation testing technique let's say for example changing a operator plus 
to a minus. Let's say there are certain situation there is a plus operator I should provide. In place of plus, if you have provided minus, as part of this mutation testing mechanism, we can easily check uh, or uh, we can easily find out uh, using this uh, mutation testing what has been changed plus to minus and appropriately the results also we will get as part of that uh, mutation testing.